This video is going to demonstrate how to use the BidNinja Auto Bidder. This video goes for whether you're using Google Chrome or Mozilla Firefox as it's the same in both browsers after you have it installed. Uh, you can either go to an auction using the Forever Free Auction Tracker or you can just browse to either Quibids, DealDash, or Bezid as BidNinja works on all of those websites. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and open up an auction and you're going to see that I'm already logged into the analytics as well as the auto bidder. And you can see this is what it would look like for you to log in. And you would enter your login details as long, you, as, long as you have access to the auto bidder. And you're going to see the interface open and I'm just going to go over each of these available inputs uh, and if you're ever confused you can always mouse over the question mark and it will give you an explanation of that field in case you're wondering or, or you're a little hazy on something or don't understand it fully. Uh, in any case um, th we'll go ahead and get started with the minimum price setting. Uh, this is the number that you want the auto bidder to not begin placing bids until the auction has reached. So if I didn't want the auto bidder to begin placing bids on this auction until it had reached let's say $1.50, I would put $1.50 here. The maximum price, you can leave this blank or you can enter the number that you want the auto bidder to stop placing bids for you at. So if you didn't want the auto bidder to place bids, if this auction were above $2, you would put $2 here. The bid at and then blank seconds, this is when you want the auto bidder to bid for you. This operates in tenth of a second increments and you can go all the way up to 10 and as low as 0.7 and you can use your scroll wheel to change any of these values or you can type them in directly. Uh, so if I wanted it to place a bid for me when the auction timer here were at one and a half, I would put one and a half here. The don't place more than this number of bids, this is your bid limit. If you don't want it to place more than 100 bids, you would put 100 here. If you didn't want it to place more than 1,000, you would put 1,000 here and so on. The bid only if less than this number of recent bidders. If I didn't want the auto bidder to begin placing bids for me until the number of recent bidders as shown here were less than five, for instance, I would put a five here. And then once the number of recent bidders as shown here were four, it would begin bidding. Now this checkbox, this box that allows you to put a check mark in it, keep bidding if bidders rises back above, this refers to this number. So let's say I, ha I used all of these settings and I click start bidding and the number of recent bidders as shown here dropped below five, it would begin bidding. If there were no check mark in this box, and let's say three other people jumped into the auction and placed a bid, that means that the number of recent bidders as shown here would then be above five. So if I don't have a check, box, a check mark in this check box here, the auto bidder would stop bidding until the number of recent bidders shown here was below the number that I put here. So in this case, it would wait until it dropped back below five again. If I put a check mark here, if the num once it starts bidding, once the number of recent bidders is below five, if it rises back above five, it's going to continue bidding. This is useful for if you just, you're using a go all the way type strategy and you don't want to risk losing the auction because the number of recent bidders rose back above a certain number and it stopped bidding, but one of those bidders won. And then you, then you need to buy the, buy the item at a, at a larger buy it now price since you placed fewer bids. And lastly, the, or not quite lastly, I have one more after this, the place bidomatic bids. This is a number if I wanted to, on an auction that has a bidomatic available as shown over here, if I wanted it to place 10 bidomatic bids before it started placing single bids, I would input that number here. And then it would, if this does not follow the bid at rule, it follows all of the other rules that don't place more than, the bid only if less than, and the minimum and maximum price. It obeys all of those rules but it does not obey the time that you tell it to bid at. And this is because Quibids is the one that determines when your bid will be placed if you're using the Bidomatic. And then once it runs out of placing this Bidomatic bids, it then will continue to single bid based on the rules that you have here. Lastly, for the Bidomatic feature function, uh, if you put a check mark here, it will stop bidding for you after the number of Bidomatic bids that you've put here have all been placed. So if you put 100 here and then it places 100 Bidomatic bids, it's going to stop if you have a check mark here. If you don't, it will continue to bid single bids based on these input values up here. You're not limited to the, the 25 bid limit that, bid that Quibids 
has set on the Bitomatic. For instance, I can't put 100 here. If I were to put 100 here and try to activate it, Quibids would say I'm only allowed to put 25 here, and that means that I need to continue. I need to be in front of my computer to reset it. I can put whatever number I want here. I could put 100, 1,000, 2,000, however many bids I have available in my account, and I can put that number here. And the Bid Ninja Auto Bidder will always make sure that the Auto Bidder or that the Bidomatic is running. And then lastly, the Prevent Lockout. You can see that there's an indicator here that shows when you're in danger of being locked out. that shows you when you're in, in danger of being locked out. If it's green, it means you're not in danger of being locked out. If it's yellow, it means you are. And if the auction is already locked and you're locked out, this will be red. In any case, if I put prevent lockout and then start bidding, it will place just enough bids for me to prevent me from being locked out of the auction. It will completely ignore all of these settings above. Uh, meaning, if I put a checkbox here, it's always going to make sure that my status for the auction is that I'm not in danger. And the reason for this is because once an auction locks, if you if you were in danger of the auction being locked out when the auction locked, when it locked, that means you're no longer allowed to place bids anymore. So this is an important function that allows you to set up the auto bidder far in advance of when an auction will start and it will always make sure that you've placed just enough bids to not be locked out of the auction.